Hi everyone, I'm Ricky here with this special news round. Next Wednesday, the streets of London will come to a standstill for the funeral of Baroness Thatcher, the UK's first and only female Prime Minister, who died on Monday, aged 87. Margaret Thatcher led the Conservative Party and was Prime Minister from 1979 to 1990. She had a huge influence on the world you're growing up in, but chances are that until her death, you might not have heard of her. All week, news of Baroness Thatcher's death has been dominating newspapers and TV screens across the country. Top politicians have been remembering her all week. Today we lost a great leader, a great Prime Minister. Towering global figure who made a vast impact. But why was this woman so important? Britain has had 53 Prime Ministers, all of them men. Except for one, Margaret Thatcher. Mrs Thatcher came to power at a difficult time for Britain and during her years as Prime Minister transformed the country. But more than any other Prime Minister in recent history, the changes she made divided opinion. Britain was once led by a woman who inspired passion. Now that passion was sometimes love, it was sometimes loathing, but passion it certainly was. Even after her death, she's still causing big debates and many of the changes she introduced helped shape the country and the world we all live in today. Now, the 1980s is famous for many things, the music, the fashion and the massive mobile phones. But here in Britain, it will also be remembered for big changes Baroness Thatcher made to the country, which still affect our lives today. Here's Joe. Back in the 1970s, before Margaret Thatcher came to power, the water coming out of your tap, the gas that cooks your dinner and even your phone was supplied by the government. Now they're run by businesses. This revolution privatisation led to much, much more choice. It was a very different country, really different. You'd only have one phone in your house. It was also owned by the government. If you wanted a different kind of phone, you had to go on a long waiting list before you'd get one. There wasn't all the kind of choice in the shops uh, that there is now. And a lot of things that are now done just through private companies on the high street were controlled through the government. Margaret Thatcher also oversaw something now known as the Big Bang. No, not the creation of the universe, but the transformation of this place, the City of London, into one of the world's most successful financial centres. Whilst many applauded Mrs Thatcher's policies for leading to more choice and financial success, others believe they benefited the wealthy over the poor and allowed businesses to operate too freely. But it wasn't just business people that Margaret Thatcher appealed to. Lots of ordinary working people, like residents here in Gillingham in Kent, voted for her in part because she would give them the right to buy their home. Back then, lots more people lived in houses that were owned by the council. She believed that if people could buy these houses, they would take better care of them and be happier with their lives. Which is exactly what happened to Sue and her family. So in a way, Margaret Thatcher helped you buy this house, didn't she? Yeah, with her right to buy scheme, um, it enabled us um, to be able to buy it. We, it became affordable where it previously hadn't. And um, it was good for our family because it gave us a sense of achievement and something to actually own and be proud of. Not everyone was so happy with the way that housing was dealt with by Mrs Thatcher, but as with many things, people can agree that the changes she made are still with us today. So, Baroness Thatcher had a big idea to reduce the number of things that were owned by the government, and that had different effects in different parts of the country. Here's Martin. When Margaret Thatcher came to power in 1979, Britain was facing big economic problems. State-owned industries like coal mining and steel making were losing money and had to be kept going with government cash. Margaret Thatcher believed the best way to improve the country's prospects in the long term was to put a stop to this, even if, in the short term, people lost their jobs. At one point, more than three million people became unemployed. One of the big industries that changed was coal mining. This shopping centre in South Yorkshire used to be the site of Cortonwood Colliery, a mine that employed hundreds of local people. In 1984, it was one of the first set to close, and in protest, miners here, who were members of the National Union of Mine Workers, stopped work and went on strike. Within one week, half the miners in the country joined them. But Mrs Thatcher wouldn't back down. She took on the striking miners and won. For her and many supporters, it was a major step towards getting the economy back on track. 
but many families who lost their jobs still haven't forgotten the impact it had on their lives. Kerry was six years old when the strike started. Uncles, my grandfather, all coal miners, um, all out of work as a result of what happened. Um, you know, the effect on, uh, on them was huge because, you know, they were all expected to, to bring home the money. They were the bread earners. Um, so you went from a fridge full of stuff and a cupboard full of stuff to not being able to afford the simple things like a loaf of bread. Although it was very tough for the people affected, many believe this had to happen. And in the areas where the old industries closed down, new businesses have come along and created work. She didn't just lead our country, she saved our country. Throughout her time as PM, there were fiery debates about whether her approach was the right one. Some thought she saved the country, others thought she was destroying it. But more than 20 years on, most of her reforms are still in place and no one doubts that changes she made laid the foundation for the country we live in now. OK, that's it from us. Newsround will be covering the funeral of Baroness Thatcher next week, happening in London. And all of the rest of the day's news is on our website. Nell will be here with your latest news tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.